pragmatic question about the future. Do you hope Donald Trump wins in 2024 and how can his administration help bring peace to the Middle East? I think when Donald Trump was president, we had a peaceful world. Everyone said if he was elected, we would have World War III. Meanwhile, he gets elected and he not only is the first president in decades to not start any wars, he's making peace deals, he's making trade deals, he's working with our allies, getting them to pay their fair share in NATO. He's uh, you know, having a dialogue with China, with Russia, he's weakening Iran. And so I do think that the job he did as a foreign policy president was tremendous. I think um, you know, now more and more people are starting to recognize that. Again, under President Biden, this is the second war that's broken out in the world. And when you have a weak American leadership, the world becomes a less safe place. And so uh, my hope and prayers are, are that, um, that, that President Trump is reelected and that he's able to then restore uh, order and calm and peace and prosperity to the world. From a place of strength. That's the only way he knows how to do it. What gives you hope about the future of this region, of Israel and of the Middle East? The Middle East for 20 years was uh, an area of conflict. Uh, uh, they spent all their money on bullets and bombs. Um, you have young leadership now in Saudi Arabia and UAE and Qatar, and there's a much more ambitious agenda now for the region to make it an economic superpower and hub of the world. Israel is one of the most burgeoning and exciting tech uh, economies in the world. And if you think about it, it's almost like having uh, Silicon Valley not connected to California. The thing that's held the region back for all these years has just been the conflict and the division and the lack of connectivity. But if you have that region, and if it can all come together, if you can create a security architecture, you have an incredibly young population, you have a lot of uh, wealth and resources, and a lot of capabilities and, and, and know-how. And so uh, I think that if it's managed correctly, and if Iran is, is, is able to be restrained and, and, and suppressed with their ambitions to cause um, destabilization, I don't mean Iran the country, I mean the Iranian regime, because actually, once you have this economic sphere, if you could bring Iraq into it, if you could bring Iran into it, uh, that makes it even bigger and stronger. And the Persian people are incredibly entrepreneurial and incredibly industrious. So I do think that the region has tremendous potential. It's just been held back by bad policy, bad leadership, bad objectives. And again, you know, when President Trump left office in you know, 2000, um, 2021, uh, the Middle East was really on a very, very positive trajectory. And if the right things happen, it can continue to be so. So, you know, I'm praying at this moment in time that uh, we navigate the current crisis, that the uh, important objectives are achieved of eliminating the terrorists and their threats, and then allowing the leaders who are focused on giving their citizens and, and their neighbors the opportunity to live a better life are able to work together and, and, and really dream and be ambitious and find ways to create a paradigm where humans can flourish.